uh, the Jenny. It's an airplane that uh, dates way back to World War I and one of the first planes built and uh, we're proud of it. the story of Wichita Falls, you have to tell, you have to include the Air Force, you have to include the base and the fact that they're trained with installations. Where I gained my primary oh. skills initially in the Air Force was through a schoolhouse here at the Shepard Air Force Base. So. I'm a quilter and I walked into this lovely show and saw a quilt walk done by my Aunt yes. Ruth. And uh, Ruth is sick right now and can't be with us tonight, but uh, my sister-in-law and I were thrilled to see her work on the wall. She grew up on a ranch in the panhandle of Texas, and her quilt block reflects that with a barbed wire fence and Texas wildflowers and some brands that she did. Well, the square is actually for my great-grandfather who passed about two weeks before I made it. He was uh, 98. But uh, we used to go out to his house every 4th of July and watch the fireworks over Lake Wichita. So I made my quilt in honor for him. Okay, in the community quilt, I got three squares. My grandson, Parker Murfield, who is a major, art major, uh, working on a degree from Midwestern, did two squares, one of them the road to somewhere and the other one the road home. He was living in Virginia when he did his two. I did one with the blue bonnet basket with all the names of my family members, blue bonnets, depicts just a rich history of what we have here in North Texas. So Mine is actually a picture of a, a cow, actually a cat, and I made it just because I'm from here, and um, my grandfather was a rancher, and he died over 20 years ago, but my parents have continued to take care of his land, and it's something very dear to me. And the reason I made it is because I was a leader, I was on the board of directors, mm -hmm. I was a service unit manager, mm -hmm. I I did everything. Yeah, okay. so you got to know a lot of Wichita Falls people through that. So I, I... But I, I painted and they said you can do anything. And so I found something, I, I, there, was an, block, yeah. there was an article in Texas Monthly, it was called The Researchers. And they were about changing demographics. They had a small picture of John Wayne, and I'm a big Duke fan. And he's holding Natalie Wood, the last scene, and his line was, let's go home, Debbie. But at the bottom of the picture, it said, vamos para casa, Debbie. Well, I changed the words. It's for Wichita Falls. We are home. My grandchildren are half African American, so I thought this is an awesome project for an artist to participate in um, because there's been so many changes over the years in this community. So I did create um, a square and it kind of represents how art can bring people together. different types of children, a lot of different ethnicities, and a lot of different specific children that you try to um, build a relationship with. Um, and I feel like they need inspiration and motivation, and in our world today, they need people to look up to. So someone who is a real person and you know, has done this is somewhat, I want to, them to relate to the emotional side of it as well. It has gotten me more in touch with my daughter-in-law and her African-American heritage because I think that's important for my grandbabies to hold on to.
in her journey with segregation and you know growing up here in Wichita Falls and I'm not a native I actually moved here five years ago from upstate New York Washington and yeah, there are a few others that uh, and when they started and everything else. What I learned from coming out and viewing the quilts is that everyone has a part of what makes Wichita Falls so great and you can look at the squares that are done of people and what they're proud of, how they've interacted with the facilities, the agencies, the environment here in this community and um, it's a great depiction of what we have to offer and where we've come from and where we are today. If you're telling the story of Wichita Falls, you have to tell, you have to include the airport, you have to include the base and the fact that there are train installations. Where I gained my primary oh. skills initially in the Air Force was through the schoolhouse here, the Shepherd Air Force Base. So. It was very interesting to see all the different things that other people see uh, with a different eye. Uh, basically with art, everybody sees something a little bit different, so it's really brought a lot of things together. It's really nice to look at them and kind of see everybody together, especially like the organization quilt, well, to see all the different organizations in which to fall is really cool. Well, worthy. I can't remember now there, but there is one church. Is it Country Church? I think it's from Thornberry. Oh, this is pretty extensive. There are a lot of people that participated that have different relationships with the city and different family activities and ideas. snapshots you know hey those folks are out there you know different things you know I'm gonna study them a little bit more and I'll be back up here to look at you know to look at these again but I saw you know a broad base subjects and everything, how wonderful, how broad it is. I've learned a lot just looking. Oh yes, because each one had a story and because I was involved, I know almost all of the stories. Well, that was pretty neat, yeah, everybody coming together and painting their own square and everyone's different, completely different. You know, you think out of 150 squares you'd have something similar. But Completely different. The collective whole of the community and caught all comes um, by interfacing and got a bigger and broader perspective of the community as a whole. Um, 
and the surroundings and what the community does to support the military as well too. So. Just think I hope we do more projects like this because it rocks.